Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be walking you guys through setting up a Kali Linux virtual machine inside your Azure subscription. If you hadn't already heard, Microsoft recently added Kali Linux as a possible uh, operating system to have installed on your virtual machines now. I think this is the second time they've added it. I'm just going to go ahead and walk you guys through setting that up. As well as myself, because this will be my first time actually setting one up. So let's get started. Here I am on my Azure subscription uh, dashboard. I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to type in virtual machines. As you can see, I have no virtual machines here right now. I'm going to click on create up here or right here and Azure virtual machine. We have our subscription. We have the virtual machine name. So we need to go ahead and put a name for that. We're just going to call it Kali Linux tutorial. Region US East is fine. I'm not worried about the availability zones right now. And then for image, and here's where we get to the good stuff. So we're gonna go down here and click on see all images, I'm assuming. And there it is. Kali Linux, Kali Linux virtual machine, the most advanced penetration testing distribution ever. I like it. And we can see we have the latest uh, version of Kali Linux here. So we click on that and there it is. Down here we can select our size. Uh, I'm gonna go with that, I guess. It For here, I'm gonna go ahead and set up SSH, uh, username and password. Just for the sake of the video. Password must have three of the following. One lowercase character, one uppercase. Ah, oh, then put the uppercase there. And that should be good. Public inbound ports, not worried about setting that up except for port 22, because 22, we need to SSH into the machine. So everything looks good. We're not gonna get into the nitty gritty. We just wanna get our Kai Linux machine up and running. So we're gonna hit review plus create. Running final validation. Breaking down the product details and the cost of running the virtual machine. We have our password and our username set up. Everything looks great, so we're gonna go ahead and click on create. Now that's gonna go ahead and set up the, the uh, virtual machine. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and SSH into the machine just to test it out. All right, we're over here on my local Kali Linux virtual machine now. And from this machine, we're going to SSH into the Kali Linux virtual machine we set up in Azure. So using the username and password I created, I'm going to SSH into the machine, SSH. And that's the IP address of our virtual machine. I'm going to put in my password. And here we are. Uh, do note that, like it says here, this is a minimal insta installation of Kali Linux, so it's not going to have all of the tools we would normally have on a like a like a Kali Linux virtual machine that we download or uh, bare metal. So you will have to install some tools, like uh, as you can see, Nmap's not installed, so you have to install Nmap. But it is a nice, nice, quick way to get a Kali Linux machine set up and running without having to use your own hardware. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions.